We're now going to have a quick look how PRQA can help implement um, EN51028. And in particular, our static ana analyzers, QAC and QAC++. So why should we use static analysis in the certification? It's not actually mandatory for any SIL level, but it is highly recommended for tables A5 and A8 in the verification testing. And we'll have a quick look at that a bit later on. However, EN 50128 does stipulate that a coding standard must be used for SILs 3 and 4. It's also highly recommended for SILs 0, 1, and 2. And really, the only practical way of enforcing a coding standard is to use a static analyzer. So let's look at how the tools are classified. As Martin previously discussed, the tools are classified by the effect that they have on the code they're being used on. Static analyzers such as QAC and QAC++ can't actually introduce a fault into the code, but they can fail to detect a fault. And this is a significant risk with T2 tools, that they create a false sense of confidence and that developers will wrongly assume that the tool will detect something and therefore don't have any other mechanism in place to catch the defect. And that's the importance of having tools that you use justified. EN50128 doesn't specify the manner of the justification, but it must satisfy the software requirement specification at the required software safety integrity level for SIL. Proof of the justification can be provided by tool vendors, such as PRQA, with appropriate inspection being carried out by a recognized certification company who has to be independent. As part of the justification, and it's also a requirement of the certification, is that the availability of a safety manual, which describes the installation, configuration, and operation of the tools plus the sections of the standard where the tools can be used. PRQA has gone through all this justification and certification process for QAC and QAC++ using the appropriate MISRA compliance modules and have produced the necessary safety manuals. Thus, the tools have been certified as fit for purpose to develop safety related software up to SIL 4 by SGS Tufsar. 